subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Did you come off it? What are you doing? You ready? Oh. Yes, it is the last training day of the week. Apart from tomorrow. Well, that's the issue. <laughs> so, so we are, it's Friday. Friday. Boom. We are doing events. So we're going to try and do some events that might be or might not be in the World's Strongest Man. Repping the Stokeman Strength Centre. <laughs> so we're getting excited because it's the weekend. Right, first up. Yeah! Mirafit Yoke. Mirafit Yoke into Farmers. Boo! Mine's not hot. 600 kilos. Mine is 400. It's 200. So we're doing Yoke. So we're doing yoke into farmers. Oh, you know that's it. Keg toss, and then stones, and then trap pull simulator. Or no, prowler rolls, keg, uh, sled rolls, or sled, sled drags. That isn't funny. No, no, start again. So guys, today we are doing yoke into farmers, and then we are doing keg tossing, trap pull simulator, or sled drag, and then stones. They see me rolling, they hating. Well, they see me rolling. <laughs> the hey team! In the Stokeman Strength Centre, um, we like to make about the members, and there's a, a gentleman by the name of Lewis Sinclair going for a log PB today. Um, I believe he's going for 130 kilos, so we're just going to do a, a couple of lifts, and Lewis has just said he's on his last warm up, so we're going to be his hype men. So hopefully, it doesn't put him off. I hope it doesn't put him off having Tom shout at him, but we'll see. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box, to the left, in the closet. That's, That's my stuff, yes. If I own it, please don't touch. <laughs> First set, well, still a warm up, but we're running with it. 280 kg. Boom. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Fans, 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 do you want to hear a joke? I'll tell you a joke about a pencil, but there's no point. We're going to build up to a heavier yoke, just do some runs with that and then we're going to drop the yoke weight down um, and then do like a medley, so yoke, run back, do the farmers. We don't really know how heavy the yoke's going to be, um, so last year in Worlds it was almost, I think it was like 620 odd kilos, the yoke, the final yoke, so we just need to kind of get our central nervous system used to lifting a, a slightly heavier yoke. The farmers weren't an issue. Um, you know, they, they felt quite nice to pick up. They're about 150, 160 kilos. I don't think that's going to be an issue, but if we can, like you say, just get moving with a heavier yoke. So we're doing about, that's, we paced this out, so it's about 12 meters, the course that we're doing. So yeah, I mean, it's it's not the longest course, but it certainly gets our, our body used to lifting heavy. Last week, we only went up to 360. I mean, 360 is our heaviest we've been up to in this prep, so. 400 we just picked up for a few settings just to kind of feel the weight on our back uh, before we walk with it. So now we're going to go up to 440 on this and I think we're just going to do a wee run with this and then maybe go straight to uh, 500 would be good tonight. I mean 500 would be a, a big yoke considering we've not done much of that in a while. And then like Luke said we're going to strip it down 300 odd and then just yoke in farmers two of them. Go, 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 go. 
That's much easier, Jesus. I'm not really used to this weight to show. I wanted my own height, which is one up, so I did that and I don't have to lift it up as high, so I felt, well, you could see the pick up there was easier than the four. Oh no, <laughs> no we do not. Cough. Ah. So we just dropped the yoke down a little bit. We're gonna do some try and do some speed runs with it. And the farmers just to mimic the kind of worlds, the worlds kind of up and that's what that might be. I don't know, it's still a bit of a guessing game, so it's more just about being quick. Um, uh, probably farmers into the oak and then see how that goes. And then we're going to go on to some throwing and then some pools and then maybe some stones if they've dried out. So fingers crossed. We're coming to Tampa, Florida, baby. Watch out. The Stolpens. We're gonna get spicy. <laughs> oh, I nearly went back in there. I went too fast. Man's too fast. Oh, <laughs> I told it at the handles. What the heck? That's worse than you. What happened there, mate? Oh, I'm throwing it forward. <laughs> Obviously. Better than my one. We're just going to do some uh, wait for height or sandbag toss. Um, obviously, we're in the Highlands. We don't have much. You know, we're dead poor and like struggling to live. So we made one ourselves. So we've got our, uh, not sleeve, uh, our friend George, he's going to hold this for us. Hopefully, that's probably about 60 feet, the size of a 10 storey building. So yeah, if we can do that, we can do anything. So what we're going to do, Tom throws it, then I throw it back. To me. <laughs> oh, George was scared there. <laughs> to you. To me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that went over. <laughs> to you. Ah. I'm going to tell. Three, two, one, go. Oof. Quick feet. One hit and back. Yeah. Oh. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. He went over. Now we've got the ice delivery. <laughs> yep. We've got the ice man. <laughs> so we're getting some ice for the cold tub to make it very cold. Because it's in Austria, it's cold. It's cold.
How much ice is in there? Around 300 kilo. Around. Come on, boy. Thank you, Marafit, for our lovely new sled that we're going to break in nice and gently today. Much appreciated, as per usual. The most amazing stuff for the most amazing prices. You can use it like a Santa sled. The Marafit sled pool with Tommy. Tom just sitting there like a good little boy. See how this goes, so wish me luck, Simon. Good luck. Did you come off it? <laughs> what are you doing, man? I fell off because you moved him. Oh. Just going to try and pull it again. Tom says not to jerk it, so I've got to be really slow and precise. Rudolph, if you're not so tight, want to guide my sleigh tonight? Oh, off the other reindeer. Used to laugh and call him names like Pinocchio. <laughs> Surely this is easier for Tom, because you're lighter. Well, thanks, Simon. So I'm tiny and Tom's big. Thanks. Ready, go! That's the outdoor training pretty much done, so we did obviously at the start, yoke and farmers did that, went up to a decent weight in the yoke, decent weight in the farmers, then we did some throws, poor wee George almost died, sorry about that George, he's still alive though, um, and then we did some sled pulls um, with the mirror fit sled, then we got some ice for tomorrow's conditioning class so that'll be pretty cool literally quite cool and now we're just going to finish up in the stones so we're just going to do stones over yoke just up to about 160 tonight for me uh, just see how the stones feel because it's um, I ju we just notice that when uh, it gets a bit colder the tacky doesn't stick as well so we've just heated them up in the wee stone room that we've got hopefully they'll be nice and sticky final event of the day the Atlas Endurance stones that we've got, so we've got 120, 140, 160, 180. So we're going to do a little bit of back and forth. So Tom will throw it to me, hopefully, I'll throw it back to him and carry on. So we've got our glamorous assistant, George. He's going to be um, getting in the way of the stones, so we're just going to throw them out underneath the stone whenever it lands and then sort it that way. So hopefully. No children will be hurt in the making of this video. Again. Again. So uh, look, we're on 160 now, Luke's going to do five sets, uh, five reps, I think this is going to be his final set, so I was going to be here to stop the stone from wrecking the gym.
I just try and pace myself when I'm um, doing stone for reps because we have 20 seconds to throw over so rather than kind of kind of one motion everything try and reserve as much energy so that was five reps at 160 pretty pretty easy um, so that's like what I'm thinking if I've got to go into the stone off and worlds just trying to conserve my energy um, I'll still be quick um, yeah so it'll be fine all good and then we'll watch the stone king do something How is everyone eat you for reps, bro? Yeah, uh, it's just uh, just get my body adjusted to it again. I'll make sure I get 15 reps plus. You know, I want to make sure that I go into this event and, like I said, no one can beat me at it. So uh, I did it last year. And if I have to, I'll do it again, but it's just getting the condition in. You got 20 seconds to lift a stone back, which is a long, long time, so take five minutes to compose. Another five seconds to breathe, and then 10 seconds left to lift a stone is plenty of time to get that back and forth, so yeah, yeah. We'll be ready. You better too, baby. So I'm just gonna do one more set, well, 160. Um, just to tox the body a little bit more. Last event, time to take home the cake. I don't know if you noticed there, Simon, but my rippling abs <laughs> got in the way from stone there. So I didn't notice. No. <laughs> right, when it is done, I'm going to do three more motions at 160. Then finish. Such events done. How was it, Tom? Great. Good. How was it, Luke? Great. Good. Good. So, yeah, it was decent. So we're just upping the weights every week now. So, um, yeah, everything felt pretty comfortable. Just a quick reminder that we are now offering Stokeman Strength Centre T-shirts as well as our amazing spicy range and the Stokeman versus the World range. And new socks are going to come out soon. And also, we'll be selling chalk very soon so that's something to look out for go to the Stolten Brothers website which is stoltenbrothers.com nice and simple or www.stoltenbrothers.com so there you go that's that and then there's merchandise there buy till your heart's content anything else Tom? no? that's it mate conditioning tomorrow with the infamous Matthew Forth thank you very much Matt for letting us attend your world class conditioning Not class thank you very much, it's bloody torture mate stay tuned for a video coming soon on Matt's conditioning class, you can check him out on his page, Matthew Forth get in touch with the Stolten Strength Centre if you want to take part thank you for watching stay safe smile 
Stay spicy, ding dong. <laughs> hey, I'll keep ringing that little bell, guys. Ding ding, ding dong, ding 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 dong, ding, ding dong. dong.